Today we learned how to solve algebra equations with fractions in them. But before we do that, just a quick refresher. If we have a fraction, for example, 3 eighths, we learned a few years ago about reciprocals of fractions. And a reciprocal of a fraction is the exact same fraction flipped over. So it would be 8 thirds. Or here, 9 tenths. The reciprocal of 9 tenths, 10 ninths. All right. The special property of a reciprocal is if you multiply a fraction times its reciprocal, you always end up getting the same thing. Top times top, 24. Bottom times bottom, 24. Simplified, one whole. And that's true with any fraction and its reciprocal. For example, 9 tenths and 10 ninths. Top times top, 90. Bottom times bottom, 90. One whole. We can use that idea to solve algebra equations with fractions. For example, let's solve this equation right here. 3 halves times x minus 8 equals 4. So to solve it, just do what we've been doing all along. First, undo the minus 8, add 8. What we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other. 8 send to each other. 3 halves times x drops down, equals drops down. 4 plus 8 is 12. Now, to undo this fraction, we're going to multiply this whole thing by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 3 over 2 is 2 over 3. But what we do to one side, we have to do the other. And watch what ends up happening. 2 thirds times 3 halves is 1 whole. So what we end up with over here is 1 whole x. And we could write a 1 in front of it as 1 whole x, but we don't usually put a 1 next to x when we're talking about 1x. So we could leave it as x. The equals drops down. And then 12 times 2 thirds, well, we've got a whole number times a fraction. Anytime we have a whole number times a fraction, we always put the whole number over 1. And then just multiply top times top, 24. Bottom times bottom, 3. And now we can simplify this. x equals 24 divided by 3, 8. And that's how to solve it. And we can check it just as easily as we've been checking all the other ones. So to check, take the 8 and plug it in for x. So instead of 3 halves times x, we're going to do 3 halves times 8. And then minus 8 equals 4. If that's true, then we know our answer is correct. Put our whole number over 1, top times top, bottom times bottom. Minus 8 equals 4. 24 divided by 2 is 12. So does 12 minus 8 actually equal 4? 12 minus 8 is 4. So Yep, checks out. We know x must be 8. All right? We did one more example in class today, and it was a harder problem. It had the distributive property. So here's the one we did in class. 2 fifths times 3x minus 15 all equals 6. So first step, distributive property. We're going to have to multiply 2 fifths times every single thing in parentheses. All right? 2 fifths times 3, well, that's a whole number. Put it over 1. Top times top, 6. Bottom times bottom, 5. And that's x. So that's 6 fifths times x minus. We've got another fraction times a whole number, so put this over 1. Top times top, 30. Bottom times bottom, 5 and then drop down your equal 6. Now before we start solving this, we can actually simplify this a little, make it easier, easier on ourselves. 30 divided by 5 is actually a whole number. 30 divided by 5 is actually just 6. So this whole thing will be easier to solve if we write it like this, with, with 30 fifths as 6. Now it just becomes a problem like the last one we just solved. Add 6 to both sides. These undo each other. 6 fifths times x drops down. Equals drops down and 12 drops down. And then we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction. 
what we do to one side, do the other. Now this makes one whole x equals, got a whole number, so I'll put it over one. 12 times five, 60. Bottom times bottom, six. And simplify that, and we're done. 60 divided by six is actually a whole number, it's 10. There it is. All right, so that is how we undo equations that have fractions in them.